Okay, Lala Pants. Have you seen the I premiere have. episode? I certainly have, and I'm thrilled with it. I thought it was so good. You made me gasp harder than I have ever gasped with that little voice. I was not expecting that, but girl, that was great television. You know, I felt that it was important to reach out to her for two reasons. Number one, I thought she needed to come back to the group after Dustin settled, and people who were willing to hear her out made her amends in a calmer setting. And then right off into the distance. I also wanted to let her know. I know that people mess up, and this was a very big deal. But you deserve to go live a happy life and find inner peace. We all do. Um, and then the Bethany Frankel podcast came out, and I was like, I'm really regretting that I did that, but very grateful that you never responded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you think the season would have been different if she had participated? Well, I think it, it would have added an element of, like, it was already uncomfortable, but it would have, I think, just added an element of, like, some sort of closure, you know? I wish that she would have come back because she started a podcast and it was like, you know, even just from a business standpoint, you could have recapped all of season 10, done season 11, recapped all of season 11, like you could have had episodes for days. Like, no one's going to care about Sandoval forever. You know, this is going to like, at some point, fizzle out and then what do you go and do? Right? Very true. Very true. She's making points. I'm just making points. But I think that she should have come back because it would have been different than she thought it would be. We're not on a hundred. Maybe some of us are on a hundred still. But a lot of us have, like, had dust settled, right? And time has passed. And with that comes, like, logic that sets it all. You know? As opposed to three weeks after the news breaks and we're in reunion time. Now, if she wants to participate in a future season, would you walk on and on? camera conversation with Rachel. Yes. I think she owes me I think she owes me an apology. Oh, and for what specifically? I think to sit down in front of me and call me the things that she called me Mistress X, Y, and Z, you, you need to apologize. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Love to hear that. Now, uh, this kiss between Schwartz and Sheena. Sheena's saying it's not what it seems to be from the trailer. What was your take on that whole situation? I was shook to my core, and I was not thrilled. Um, I like people to be open and honest. You will see what plays out in the actual season and what really happened. But I was like, why are we all like hiding so much stuff? Yeah. You know? Like at what point are we like grown adults who are like some of us pushing 40? Like when can we like maybe act that way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like uh, you are definitely acting very mature, uh, raising your beautiful daughter, Ocean. And and I was just so heartbroken to hear you speak about the custody situation in the premiere episode. What is the latest update in regards to your custody? Are you closer to getting what you want? You know, it's, it's, his side is just so chaotic, and I don't see resolution coming anytime soon. Um, I would like it to come, but I mean, we're still we're still in it. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Hopefully it ends soon. I think it will end, and it will end in a fantastic, okay. better than I could have imagined. Yeah, we're, we're claiming it. We're manifesting it. Absolutely. That's what we're doing, 2024. My my psychic medium told me this is my year for all things. Okay. I know. Right. Let's I see if that's medium. true. Yes.